What's up everyone? So I guess we're continuing with the future market part one. Let's talk to uh March 7th. Oh, hey! I just remembered Topaz gave me her number. She really be looking like snack seven now, as well let me tell you. Be direct and ask her where she is. She seems like the type of person who appreciates a straight approach. Are you there, Miss Topaz? Greetings, Director Topaz is currently busy and unable to reply to your message. Please wait. An auto reply? She re really doesn't reply to messages during her work hours. Greetings, Director Topaz. Okay. Oh, yeah, please tell me. Can you tell me where Topaz is gone? Hello, check in Director Topaz is scheduled for you. Currently, Director Topaz is on an inspection tour at the History and Culture Museum, the Overworld Balibor Guerrilla Ships. This thing is pretty smart. Thank you. Greet Shut the f- Alright, let's go. Well, okay, freaking chat it. GPT be talking to me. She's at the museum. Let's get going. We better think about what we're gonna say. She might be young, but she is an IPC executive. She's definitely no pushover. Bit, let's go then. I suppose. Run, Barry, run! Where the hell is she? Oh. Okay, that was quick. Oh, it's you two again. This is the third time today we've run into each other. This isn't a... Actually, we seem oh, to miss. did my smart reply function tell you where I was? It's a system developed by the technology department. Pretty neat, right? I guess. What do you make of this painting? I'm no expert, but just from the artist's strokes, I can tell it's no ordinary piece. It portrays a certain kind of uh, sorrow, you know? Not your everyday kind of sadness. I am it not an art expert, so I'm not going to say anything about that. It's as if the artist that. had condensed history into one poignant but sorrowful image. The artist's brushwork depicts a generation's, no, several generations' hardships. Oh, brother, she's a nerd. I'm gonna pretend like, what the fuck? I'm gonna pretend, yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> you flatter me. The Express has visited many worlds. I'm sure the Nameless have a far greater knowledge of such things than myself. To be honest, we I only visited one world. What I'm trying to say is, what I'm drawn to isn't the Lawful style is in which a it's painted, so. but its overall value. Its intrinsic value may only be 50,000 credits, but its added value might push the total up to 200,000. Still not enough to build Sorry a character. Sorry for crashing your artist party, but we came to talk to you about something else. Oh? Yep. A collaboration between our two sides, perhaps? Not exactly. Actually, we... Let's walk and talk. This way. A bit. Most exhibits in this museum are of little value. But, with a keen eye, it's possible to find a diamond in the rough, so to speak. Miss Topaz, Branya's already told us about Bellavog's debt situation. <coughs> yep. Oh. You two are closer than I expected with her. So, how can I help? Not sure in the arrangement, or... We, uh, uh, help me out here. You know I'm not good at this kind of thing. We want to ask for a favor on behalf of Bronya. <laughs> the express will Hey, nobody agreed to that. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> we're actually if we're being here real, on behalf I probably of have the credits to do it's it. It's just, you know, given Bellabog's circumstances, it isn't exactly a wash with money right now. The Bellabogians don't have the means to pay off such a huge debt. True. I understand. From your point of view, I can see how unreasonable it appears. However, you must understand that debt collection is a big part of my job. I've dealt with cases far more difficult than Bellabogs. Damn. I appreciate each case has its difficulties. But if I treated every late debtor as a special case, the galaxy's economy would come to a grinding halt. 
She makes a fair point. And if the dead can't be repaired, the repaint? strategic investment department is well versed in handling such situations. We can offer the debtor various repayment solutions. Oh, okay. But Urillo Six has far exceeded the allotted repayment period. I'm afraid milder solutions aren't the order of the day. So I propose to Branya. Oops, oh, almost gave away trade secrets there, didn't I? Oh, that was a close one. Uh, okay. The exhibits here are pretty ordinary. I estimate they're probably not worth much. Uh, let's keep moving. What? Okay. Uh, so you're basically saying the Bellabogians must pay off their ancestors' debts. When you so, think about so it, close it's to just ends. another part of the cycle of life. Yeah, I don't feel uh, like I'm walking. not sure it's as poetic as that. <gasps> wow, look! Is that little critter native to Urillo 6? Maybe. <gasps> it's so white and fluffy. <laughs> Where can I find a live one? It's probably extinct. <sighs> I suppose it probably is. Otherwise, it wouldn't be on display here. Yep. That's such a shame. I absolutely adore little animals. Have you guys met Numbi yet? I guess they're off playing somewhere. What? So That's irresponsible. What the hell? What exactly will it take for the IPC to go easier on Bellabog? Branya invested so much just <coughs> to make this world a little better. Excuse me. And now, it feels like all of her efforts will be undone in the blink of an eye. It's just so cruel. <laughs> what do you take the IPC for, Miss March? We're just the same as Bellabog's architects. We're all followers of the preservation. Oh, that's No matter what solutions we fact. propose, we will always take the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Otherwise, we'd be no different from the Legion, would we? So you're saying there's nothing to worry about? But, Branya. Don't worry yourself too much. The Supreme Guardian is a wise person. She'll understand. Okay. But, to answer your question directly, it'd take a miracle. I'll complete the Arillo 6 project no matter what. Whoa. Uh, this isn't going as planned. What should we do? Kill up. I wouldn't waste too much energy on this matter. Why not make the most of the festive atmosphere? Oh, looks like one of my colleagues is after me. My apologies, but I should probably take this. Bye. Okay, that was video I beat. Uh, so, what now? We spent ages trying to convince her, and she didn't move an inch. Yeah, we didn't promise Branya we'd succeed. She sort of made sense. I yeah. guess so, but that still doesn't fix Branya's problem. I guess Miss Topaz is just doing her job. And as far as the Express is concerned, I think it'd be unwise to make the IPC our enemy. All these vested interests. So hard to undo any of it. They don't teach this stuff in school. <laughs> Wait, did I even go to school? Oh shit! Did That's someone send you point. a message? Sila, what up, sorry? I heard you back in Bellevue. Give me a sound when you have a minute to it. What's up, Sila? What's going on? A bunch of rascals came down to the underworld world and took over the great man by force. I asked Bronya what to do and she told me not to mess with him for the time being. Listen to her and don't mess with him. Bronya was right, it's probably best not to mess with him. Too late wildfire and silver main guards already engaged with him. But those jerks, jerks have super fan, uh, advanced fancy weapons with jacked up damage we can't handle them. I'm sending you an SOS cause I'm running out of ideas. I'm coming. Hang in there we all know it. Huh? The IPC are causing trouble in the underworld? Already? That's crazy oh, man. Seriously? Topaz was just talking about taking the welfare of the people of Bellabog into consideration. Oh, and now they're pulling this stunt? You really can't trust these money-hungry IPC suits for a minute! Uh, here we go again. I really did jinx us. I don't think I have it in me to play the hero today. Oh, I guess complaining won't get us anywhere. Let's go lend them a hand. <sighs> oh. 
Are there other matters? Oh, she's wearing a normal clothes hey, again. I'm sad. Am I glad to see you two here? I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out. Is anyone hurt? Nobody's been seriously hurt, but a few wildfire members got minor injuries. Fortunately for us, it seems like they were holding back. Their weapons and automatons are much stronger than anything we have. You see those two in black? Chuck Swallow They're guarding them. the mine entrance. They're not letting anyone in or out. Hey, just because you have fancy equipment doesn't mean you can bully us. Who do you think you are? What's the matter? Got nothing to say? Damn. What's going on inside the mine? Any ideas? A few miners made it out earlier. They looked pretty panicked. They said the whole mine had been seized by the people in black. The These men in black. Uninvited guests keep talking about asset evaluation, whatever that means. All I know is that they're seriously disrupting the lives of the underworlders. Is Topaz around? Uh, who? Okay. We were She's just talking. talking to her in the museum. Do you think her cronies are acting without her authorization? That would be what you're talking about. Are they in charge of the people in black? Yep. Potaz, Pazto. Oh, Whatever God. Whatever her name is, she can wait. Right now, the most important thing is to free those trapped in the Great Mine. Are you two with me? All right. Let's cook. Let's cook. Um, speaking of yet, um, long days into the night. Oh, yeah, this is, um, Pinakonia, I believe. Yeah, let's let's continue going. Hey, you two. Cat got your tongue or something? If you knew what was best for you, you'd get out of my way. Damn. You guys must be exhausted standing here all day. How about you take a little lunch break? I'm sure the IPC allows that, right? I'm a guest of your boss stand aside. Uh, what's their deal? You two were talking to the director in the snow plains. Uh, so it's you. You're the one who was threatening to take us out in the snow plains. Uh, do you even know who you're talking to? If your boss knows to treat us with respect, you'd better start showing some yourself. Let him know, much. I can't let you pass. My team leader said that if anyone gets through, I'll lose six months of performance bonuses. Team leader? <laughs> You're even lower on the pecking order than I thought. Yep. Shut up! I spent seven years on a forsaken asteroid preparing to join the IPC. I went through 17 interviews before they finally hired me. Jesus. What right do you deadbeats have to criticize me? All right, all right, let's put him up. Put him up. IPC? Interviews? I don't know what you're rambling on about, but you're really testing my patience. Let's no show him. waste our breath on this idiot. Let's do this. Shit. Bro started it. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. All right. I have something for you. <laughs> Naughty child. Okay. I will dispatch you. The fight is set. Let's go, Blade. I have something for you. <laughs> That's it? He sure took off quickly. <sighs> 17 rounds of interviews, and these are the best people they can find? <laughs> what a joke. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've been warned that the ones in the mine won't go down without a fight. All right. Let's set off when you're ready. Um. All right. Let's talk to Mark. Got your breath yet? It's time to show these IPC fools who they're dealing with. When did you change your clothes? Right after 
after we finished chatting with Topaz in the museum. But I was with you. <laughs> Did it take you that long to notice? I thought you were supposed to be the observant one. The quicker we handle the IPC, the faster we can get back to enjoying the celebrations. Let Zila know when you're ready to go. All right, copy that. Ready for action? It's time to kick the IPC out of the underworld. Let's go. Let's get moving. My team be looking okay. -ish. Oh, she is. I think Hello. yeah, she is it's going Mr. to meet Clara, isn't it? And this cute little girl must be Clara. Keep your hands away from uh, Clara. Hello, Miss. Are you? I'm Topaz. I've come to have a chat with Mr. Sparog. Clara, go inside and wait for me. Yeah. Huh? But if you have a guest, maybe I should. She is not a guest. Neither is she a friend. Ooh. Go, Clara. Everything will be fine. Ooh, some shit's gonna go down now. So it seems my source was right. Who would have thought that such a strong bond could exist between a giant robot and a little girl? <sighs> so heartwarming. You bear the insignia of the Interastral Peace Corporation. What is your motive for coming here? <laughs> Straight to the point, huh? I like your style. Urillo 6. Are robots familiar with that term? Anyway, it refers to the planet we're currently standing on. It's about to become the property of the IPC. Okay. No one can reverse this outcome. Not you, not the nameless, nor any power in the galaxy. I only care about one thing right now. What? Demonstrating to the shareholders of the IPC that Urillo 6 can generate value. In the long run, this is a way, the only way, to ensure Bellabog's long-term interests. I need your help to achieve this goal. Okay. Long-term interests undefined. Analyzing objectives. Analysis failed. Tell me, Emissary, how do you plan to convince the IPC leadership? That's simple. I'll show you. This is... Source code, or to be more precise, Source code that is able to take control of all mechanized units in Bellabog. Excuse me? I'm sure you're familiar with this. All mechanized units manufactured in Bellabog over the last 700 years utilize the underlying systems created by the IPC. The code is so refined that the engineers never saw any reason to change it. Damn. I assume you're also aware that there was once a large automaton factory in the underworld. Thousands upon thousands of automatons, enough to crush the Legion's vanguard, lay dormant within. Jeez. This is my bargaining chip for negotiating with the higher-ups. I'll convince them that your Rillo 6 has a place in the company's long-term strategies. But first, I need a guide to show me where these automatons are buried. I understand. Your long-term interests can be defined as the survival of civilization at a macro level. What are your intentions for the people currently living here? Their future has already been purchased. All I can do is make them accept this fact, using a relatively peaceful approach. Relatively, you say. I understand. I will assist you with your plan. Okay. Oh. So, you're not as stubborn as the rumors suggest. He does the know how to listen to reason so. My computational range, but my emotional analysis indicates that you are indeed trying to find ways to ensure the survival of this world. Additionally, wise man, calculations indicate a 96.4% probability of compliance through force if I refuse to cooperate. <laughs> Your calculations are slightly on the conservative side. Here's to our future cooperation. If you wouldn't mind leading the way, Mr. Sparog. Meanwhile, in the great mine with Sheila and the Trailblazer. Alright, I'm gonna end this video here for now. 
Thank you all for watching. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.